Well, they have been closed for weeks, and today two major local attractions will make their case to reopen this summer. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Stella Escobedo. Both SeaWorld and Lego Lanza, they have begun work on plans to reopen the theme park safely following CDC guidelines. News 8's Netta Rompour joins us live now to explain what's expected to happen today. Good morning, Netta. Good morning. Yeah, we're live here outside of SeaWorld, a closed SeaWorld. They are closed to the public, but there are still uh, plenty of employees who are currently working at SeaWorld to take care of the animals. And right now, we actually are hearing that SeaWorld officials are speaking with county officials, along with people from Legoland, Aquatica, and the USS Midway Museum. So they're telling us they're going to put their case before the county to try to get these parks opened by this summer. We're talking as early as July 1st. So their potential plan here has a lot to do with, of course, safety protocols. That's what they'll be outlining before the county here today. And they'll be asking San Diego County health officials that if they can get the green light, Legoland, the USS Midway Museum, Aquatica, and SeaWorld San Diego would all like to open by July 1st. They say they're following the CDC guidelines and the advice of outside medical consultants to prepare to reopen SeaWorld as soon as safely possible. They say they're developing a range of precautions and safety measures to provide employees and guests a safe, healthy and clean environment. Legoland California Resort con conform, excuse me, confirming that they are presenting a comprehensive plan today as a group to the county of San Diego's public health team. They want to get direction on their next steps all to be open by July. They do offer a plan that details personal protective equipment, social distancing, cleaning and sanitation, sick policies, employee screenings, COVID-19 training and putting signs up everywhere. And this would all be very similar to what you would see at many of the businesses that are currently reopening like restaurants and now hair salons. So we want to show you some of the latest information we got from Legoland. They did release a statement that says in part Legoland California Resort, SeaWorld, Aquatica, the USS Midway Museum have aligned efforts in creating a reopening plan that ensures we are in compliance with phase three guidelines in California. They went on to say the safety and health of our employees and guests is the top priority for all San Diego attractions and we can't wait to be back open. Now SeaWorld also releasing a statement that says in part we hope to make official announcements regarding SeaWorld San Diego soon as we continue to work closely with state and local officials. When we do reopen our guests can expect the same type of fun and exciting experiences they are used to at SeaWorld. So as you may know these are some of San Diego's biggest tourist attractions right now. Of course travel has nearly halted uh, with tourism of course impacted with the stay at home orders uh, but these parks are hoping to reopen by July. That would be the summer months when they do usually see their busiest crowds. So, of course, as soon as we hear back from them or from county officials, we'll be sure to let you know. We are live outside of SeaWorld. We'll send it back to you. Nana, thank you. A petition calling for the immediate opening of East County Lakes will be submitted to the Board of Supervisors today. While several lakes in the city of San Diego have reopened, some in the East County remain closed. And News 8's Chris Crow joins us live now and has more on who is spearheading this petition. They want some of those lakes back open now, Chris. Yeah, organizing this petition is former state senator and current District 2 County Supervisor candidate Joel Anderson. And today he was joined here at Lake Murray, one of the lakes that is open by a number of not only uh, anglers, fishing advocates, wildlife advocates, but also we're talking about bait and tackle shop owners, people who are directly impacted by the closures of some of these county lakes. And essentially what they're asking for is specifically these seven lakes in the county of San Diego operated by the city to reopen. Those that are closed include El Capitan Res Reservoir, San Vicente Reservoir, Lake Barrett, Lake Sutherland, and others. They've collected 1,200 signatures calling for these lakes to be reopened. Now, again, currently only Lake Murray, Lake Miramar, and Lower Otai are open. And these fishing and rec recreation advocates want all the lakes to be reopened now that some of these openings are occurring across the county and across the state uh, after uh, this COVID-19 stay at home order. They feel like uh, fishing and the recreation that surrounds these lakes are uh, a part of social distancing and they don't see any reason for some lakes to be open and for some lakes to be closed. Now, big part of this is the amount of money that it takes to operate these lakes to keep them open. but. For those that rely on some of the revenue from their bait and tackle shops, they say that the money is a bigger issue for them than it is for the city. I was down 35%. I was down 35% at the start of May. Thankfully, you know, I have some loyal customers. Even though there was no place to fish, 
we still had some some people come in and we're, we're staying afloat right now. And they're staying afloat right now. Now we did reach out to the city and the mayor's office specifically to ask for comment about why the seven lakes have not been open and why the money uh, it just isn't there right now. We've also reached out to County Supervisor, current County Supervisor Diane Jacob for a response. We're waiting to hear back from her. But coming up here at 1130, you'll hear directly from both candidates for District 2 coming up uh, in November, Joel Anderson, but then also Poway Mayor Steve Voss. Back to you. Chris, thank you for that. Verona Resort and Casino reopening today with new safety measures. Temperature checks and face coverings will be required. Table games will be limited to three people per table, and every other slot machine will be turned off to help with social distancing. Smoking is also going to be banned. Hair salons and barber shops have been given the green light to reopen, but only for services that allow customers to keep their masks on. That means eyebrow threading, eyelash work, or face shaving remains prohibited. All employees must have their temperatures checked at the beginning and at the end of their shifts. As for nail salons, they still remain closed during this time. Also, Houses of Worship in San Diego can reopen uh, in-person services. That is starting as of today. Churches and staff congregants will need to have their temperatures checked as well. Collection plates, prayer books, hymnals have been taken away, and services will be shortened to reduce the risk of infection. Worship centers must also reduce their capacity to 25% or 100 people, whichever is smaller, for the next 21 days. For the third straight day, the county reported no additional deaths from COVID-19. So some good news here, and here are the latest numbers. Health officials are reporting 85 newly confirmed cases of the virus out of more than 3,900 tests performed. That's a positive rate of just over 2%. The total number of cases is 6,882. The number of deaths remains at 249. And the number of people who've died from coronavirus in the U.S. is expected to hit 99,000 today. But a new model often cited by the White House has lowered its death projections. At least Preston reports more cities, counties and states are opening up back up again. And so are the businesses. Churches, pools, drive-in theaters, and in-person shopping is back in California. But at this mall in Ontario, California, shoppers are finding many stores still shuttered and long lines outside open ones. I didn't think it was going to be that empty. So, like, none of the stores were open? On New York's Long Island, some businesses are now able to offer in-store or curbside pickups. We're hoping to just salvage the rest of the season. And Nevada's governor has announced most businesses can reopen Friday and casinos are on track to open next week. University of Washington researchers now say 11,000 fewer Americans will die by August. That projection is down to about 132,000. Still, 27 states reported increases in new coronavirus cases Tuesday compared to two weeks ago. New CDC guidelines warn COVID-19 antibody tests are wrong nearly half the time and should not be used to determine if someone is immune to the coronavirus. And a new Associated Press poll with the nonpartisan objective research organization finds half of Americans are skeptical about a COVID-19 vaccine and only about half say they will get one. I think there's an opportunity for policymakers and health communicators to convey kind of what's going into building this vaccine. How solid are the data to make sure that it's safe so that when it's available, we can kind of have pre-addressed some of those concerns. The Trump administration has a goal of having 300 million doses of a vaccine by January. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. A Kaiser Family Foundation poll finds that uh, all Americans or a family member have skipped or delayed medical care because of the pandemic, which means a lot of people are skipping out on uh, heading to the doctor's office. And in an effort to stabilize the coastal bluffs in Del Mar, the federal government is cutting a sizable check. According to Representative Mike Levin, Sandag and the North County Transit District are getting more than $11 million in federal grant money. That money will be used on the Del Mar Bluff Stabilization Project to repair and safeguard train tracks on the eroding bluffs and to keep those tracks secure for years to come. You know, it's going to be a very hot day today. Another one, just how is it, how hot is it going to get out there? Let's check back in with Netta Ronpour. She's standing by with our first look at our forecast here. Things are heating up out there already, Netta? 
You know, by the bay, it actually feels quite nice. So if you are tired of the heat already, this would be the place to come. We're getting a little bit of that onshore flow right now. Not cloud coverage, though. So, of course, blue skies here over the blue waters. There's a few people out on their jet skis and boats here. Uh, but, you know, right now, most of the county inland, that's where that heat is certainly on. We had that sun uh, beaming on us even early this morning. So the cloud coverage didn't really help much. It burned off really quickly. So let's get right to our current temperatures. and. Here's what you're seeing right now already in Escondido and Poway are in the low 80s, but look at the desert 99 degrees for Borrego and Ocotillo Wells just after 11 a.m. So it is going to heat up here a lot more in the next couple hours, especially for the deserts Add another 10, maybe even 13 degrees to those temperatures that you're seeing right now for places like Borrego. And that's certainly uh, where it will be dangerously hot today. Overall, our satellite radar is showing really clear conditions across San Diego. We saw a little bit of clouds hanging around the coast early today. Day. There's a slight coastal eddy, but what's really going on is there's this big ridge of high pressure right over Southern California. It's literally right above us, and that's what's nudging all the clouds uh, to the west of us, and that's why we do have these clear conditions. That high pressure is really contributing to bringing on that heat pretty much all across the desert southwest. So it's coming in. You see it there over Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, and yes, California. Pretty much all of California impacted by it as well. Certainly a lot of heat in the desert areas, and that's why that excessive heat warning is in effect. It's going to stay in effect until 7 o'clock on Friday. So we're talking quite a few days here still left of this heat wave and dangerously hot conditions. In fact, today it could get up to 113 degrees. Today would be the hottest day of the week for most of San Diego County, but it's going to remain hot in the deserts throughout tomorrow as well. So we do have some tips for you to beat the heat. Stay hydrated. Stay out of the sun if you can. Of course, if you have air conditioning, that would be a good way to go. But then check up on your neighbors, your senior citizens, anyone your loved ones that you know don't have air conditioning, you may want to see if they are doing okay. But I got to tell you, uh, if you can go for a walk anywhere near the water's edge, this would be a nice place to feel a little bit of that cooler air, that little slight breeze that we're feeling right now. This certainly helped contribute to things just being a little more comfortable, especially when you compare it to the inland areas. We are live right now right around Mission Bay. We'll send it back to you. That breeze certainly does feel nice on these warm days, doesn't it? Thanks, Netta. President Trump takes aim at Twitter, coming up why the social media company is now stepping in. And it's a video that is a bit difficult to watch. The arrest of George Floyd that turned deadly. The action his family is now demanding.